Hey, what is up you guys, you pixeled here, and welcome to a new speed build video on the channel. So today we are working on a brick colonial home, and can I just say, I absolutely adore this build. I, I think the exterior is definitely what shines in this build. Don't get me wrong, the interior is pretty nice as well, but the exterior is with where this build shines. It's just, it looks really, really good. I'm extremely proud of this exterior, and... Why did I say exterior like that? Exterior? I don't know. Um, but I'm really proud of this exterior. I really, really like how it turned out. And it's funny because Colonial Homes, they're not known for their interesting shapes. It's basically just a big rectangle. But I think I did this big rectangle justice. I really love how the backyard turned out. Oh, having a party in the backyard of this house. Amazing. I just, I love this build so freaking much. And the reason I decided to work on a colonial home is because I technically have a save file, but it's not a save file anyone could download, even if I wanted to, because I play The Sims 4 on PlayStation 5, and I don't think there's any way for people to download PlayStation or console save files. I know it's very easy to do that on PC, so a lot of PC players do that, but I play on console, so it's basically impossible for me to let people download my save files. Um, but I'm basically working on one for my own personal use. Uh, the save file I'm working on is basically where I record all my Let's Plays. So I want the worlds to be better and feel different than other people's games. So I'm making over every townie. I am building new homes. I'm remodeling homes. I'm just basically rebuilding every lot in The Sims 4 uh, to uh, to an extent, you know? And the... the, the, the wow, I, I lost words. My, my brain just melted. What I was attempting to say before my brain malfunctioned is that the reason I'm building this colonial home in this neighborhood is because I have plans for this neighborhood. I want this neighborhood in Willow Creek to be filled with big, beautiful homes. I don't know if I'm going to build more colonial homes in this neighborhood so they can match this one. But the point is, I want this neighborhood to be filled with big, beautiful homes. It's just, you know, wealthy people live in this neighborhood. That's kind of like the vibe that I'm trying to go for. And yeah, that's basically all I want to do for this neighborhood. I want it to be filled with big, beautiful homes. I'm thinking of building another colonial, but instead of making it look kind of classic like this one, I want it to look like a colonial home where people added modern additions to, you know, I just, I want this neighborhood to be filled with big, beautiful homes. And I don't know if they should all look different or if they should all be similar. So if they're all similar, I'm guessing that they'll all, they'll all be they would all be colonial homes, but I don't know if that's boring because that would mean there's four lots in this neighborhood. That would mean I would be posting four colonial homes to my channel, and I don't know if people would get bored of that, even though I would space out the speed builds, so I think it's fine because I think after this speed build, I'm going to put a room build up and then a high school build up and then maybe another colonial home. I don't know. I still don't know my plans entirely for this neighborhood. All I know is that I want it to be filled with big, beautiful homes and, you know, just bougie people live here. And something that I don't want to do is build like a modern mansion next to this colonial home because I feel like that doesn't make sense. I mean, in real life, I guess, you know, sometimes different styles of houses are like right next to each other, but I don't want that in my neighborhoods. I want all the houses to complement each other and look the same. Because currently, you know, I almost completely renovated one of the neighborhoods already. I just have to build one more house and I'm done with that neighborhood. And that neighborhood is filled with suburban homes and they all complement each other. They all look good together. So I want this neighborhood to be filled with more like colonial homes, I guess. And then I already have in mind a neighborhood that's going to be filled with modern homes. And that's the neighborhood on the top left corner of Willow Creek uh, where the Spencer Kim Lewis household is. I want those two big lots to have two giant modern mansions on them, which I don't know how I'm going to do because I'm not good at building mansions in The Sims 4. So that's going to be a struggle. But I, you know, I want all the neighborhoods to make sense. So, you know, like I mentioned, this neighborhood is going to be filled with colonial homes. I already have one neighborhood filled with suburban homes. Then the neighborhood where Spencer Kim Lewis household lives, that's going to be filled with modern homes. I, I want every neighborhood to just make 
makes sense because you won't see a trailer park next to a mansion. I don't know if those styles really go together. You know what I mean? I just want my neighborhoods to make sense. And, you know, it, it's it's, it's going to take some time to finish uh, Willow Creek. And then I'm going to move on to... Uh, I am going to move on to other Sims worlds. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. And I feel like it's going to take an extra long time also because I'm not only remodeling or building homes. I'm also doing towny makeovers. And, you know, we keep getting more and more packs one after the other, which is awesome. I love that. I'm not complaining about that. But, you know, obviously with every new pack, we get a whole host of new households. So that means I have even more Sims to give a makeover to. And there is Sims in the base game that I have yet to give a makeover to. So, you know, piling on top of that, it's insane. It is insane. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of Sims I have to give a makeover to. And I'm not only giving makeovers to Sims, I'm also adding new Sims to existing households. Like I give, I gave Eliza and Bob Pancakes a daughter. I gave them a daughter. I gave the Goths a new son. You know, they have another son who lives apart on his own. You know, I'm also making new townies. So I'm building houses. I'm making older houses. I'm giving makeovers to townies. I'm making new townies. There's a lot that I'm doing, but I'm having fun. So I guess I'm not trying to complain because I'm having fun. Uh, so yeah, I'm just, I don't know. I, it's, it, I'm having a lot of fun, but it's going to take a while. Especially like I mentioned, it feels like these packs are coming one after the other. Like we literally just got the werewolves pack and now in less than a week, we're going to get the high school pack. Well, in less than a week at the time of recording this voiceover, we're going to get a high school pack. And, you know, I gave every townie in the werewolves pack a makeover, except Greg. I kind, I kind of forgot about him. So I have to go back and give him a makeover. I remodeled the library. I did two builds from scratch and I still have plans to remodel the cabin that that one household lives in and maybe remodel the bar. So, you know, there's still things I have to do in the werewolves pack and then we're going to get the high school pack and I have no idea how many townies are in the high school pack. So I don't know how many people I have to give a makeover to. And I also don't know how many lots there are. Um, luckily I don't feel rushed to give those lots a makeover or rebuild them because a lot of talented simmers actually worked on them. So they're actually good looking. So I don't really have to rush out and build new lots. Um, so I'm really happy about that, but you know, it seems like we're getting these packs one after the other and yeah, this, this, this project that I'm doing, you know, basically my own save file, it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. Oh, and by the way, like I mentioned, I play on console, so I don't think there's a way for you guys to download this save file. But if you guys want to have this save file, I say in air quotes, um, I will be uploading every build, every remodel, every towny makeover to the gallery. So if for some reason you guys want to have this save file, again, I say in air quotes, have this save file. I guess you guys could go to the gallery and place these houses and these households and these remade Sims into your own game, um, which I don't think anybody's going to want to do because that's going to take a hell of a long time. But if for some reason you do, um, all of these things will be up on the gallery. Uh, so yeah, if for some reason you guys want this save file, again, I say in air quotes, um, I guess you guys could just go to the gallery and save these lots and stuff like that. I will be posting a screenshot of each world's map after I'm fully done remodeling every single lot. Um, and that will be posted on my Twitter. So you guys should go over to my Twitter, same username as my YouTube name. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to know exactly where I placed each lot and each household, I guess you guys will have to see that on Twitter. Um, which I don't know when I'm going to be posting screenshots because I'm not even done with Willow Creek. And I started working on this a couple of weeks ago. So it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. I still have to do that entire shopping street where all the businesses are, like the library, uh, the museum. I still have to do that entire neighborhood. Um, I'm not completely done with my suburban neighborhood. I still have to place down one more suburban home and then I'm done with that neighborhood. Obviously, I'm not done with this neighborhood that you're currently watching because I have to build more colonial homes. Uh, so, you know, it, it's it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. And I'm nearly done with the werewolves world. I have to give a makeover to Greg and then I have to decide what I want to do with the bar and that one household's 
house. Um, I think I might just remodel their house and I think I may remodel the bar as well. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. I might remodel them because for some reason, you know, when I remodel a build, those videos actually do very well compared to my normal speed builds. I guess people just love seeing builds get remodeled. So I might do more of that. Um, even though, you know, the cabin in uh, the werewolves world where that one household lives, I don't really know how to remodel that build. I have no ideas. So I might just build them a new home from scratch because I think I actually prefer to do that. But the bar itself, now that I might remodel. I was thinking of giving it a junkyard feel. So just making it look like a giant junkyard and then underground is where all of the uh, werewolf stuff is. I think that's the idea I have, which I think that's actually what I'm going to do. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, I, 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 there's a lot that I have to think about. And I also have to give Greg a makeover. I keep forgetting about Greg. I have a lot to do, but I always decide to look on the bright side. And honestly, I feel like the bright side is I'm never going to run out of content. <laughs> I'm literally never going to run out of Sims 4 content because I have so many builds I have to do. I have so many remodels I have to do. I have so many makeovers I have to do. Obviously, I'm doing Sims 4 Let's Plays as well. So there's a lot I have to do. Uh, so I'm never going to run out of Sims 4 content, at least not for a while, at least not for a couple of months. And that's exciting because sometimes you get... Um, I don't want to say writer's block because I'm not an author, but you know what I mean? Like writer's block for content where you don't know what to build or do. And I don't think I'm going to have that, not for a while. But something I feel like I'm going to struggle with is community lots. And the reason I say that is because obviously I'm remaking every Sims world, right? And eventually I'm going to get to, uh, Yikes, what is the Get Famous world's name again? I completely forgot, but eventually I'm going to get to that world, right? And the Get Famous world has a really, really, really ugly museum in the center. And I don't know if I want to remodel that or build a museum from scratch. I'm leaning towards building one from scratch, but I would love it to be a modern museum. And for some reason, you know, I've attempted that before. I've attempted building a modern museum and I struggled. And it wasn't cute and I didn't like it. So, you know, there's going to be community lots that I'm going to struggle with. I think libraries are pretty easy to build. So I don't think I'm going to struggle with that. But, you know, building cafes and, and you know, museums and you know, those places, it's going to take a while because I struggle with those type of builds. I'm more comfortable with building things like suburban homes. So, yeah, that's, that's going to be a struggle. That's going to be a struggle, but I hope it's a fun struggle and not a frustrating struggle. Oh, and by the way, speaking of, you know, community lots or special lots, did you know that you can't edit the, the, the Strangerville lot, you know, the, the secret lab? You can't build there. That is so freaking annoying because I had such a badass idea for that lab and you can't build there. You can't edit that lot. And I think EA, you know, made it that way. So if you go in there and delete the mother plant, you know, I feel like Strangerville would no longer work. So maybe they made it so you can't build there just to avoid that. But man, I really, really wanted to build on that lot because I had such a cool and badass idea for that lot. And obviously I can't build it. <laughs> I can't build it because I just, I had a, such a cool idea and I, you can't build on that lot. It's so frustrating. Oof. Okay. Now I'm thinking of other Sims worlds that I think I might be annoyed with. And I just remembered the vampires world. Oh God. Okay. So I'm going to have to build some creepy builds for that world. And I might remodel Vlad's mansion. Um, ooh, especially with the curved walls that are coming pretty soon. That might be fun. Actually, you know what? I'm hyped for that now. I'm actually pretty hyped for that now because I think his mansion is like a giant Victorian mansion. I can't remember. I haven't seen it in a while, but I think it's supposed to be like a giant Victorian mansion. And I think I could do that, you know, build this giant Gothic Victorian mansion at the top of the hill. Oh, that's going to be so much fun. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited for that now, but the other lots in that world, Okay, I might have to build a couple of Victorian homes for that world because I feel like vampires really love their Victorian homes. 
Um, so I might have to do that. I, I don't know. Because I want every neighborhood, every world to have its own unique feel. So, yeah. Because, you know, the werewolf's world, all the builds I've done for it and all the remodels I've done for it have been builds that look pretty run down and very, um, what's the word? What's the word? Uh industrial industrial is the word i was trying to remember but yeah the werewolves world i made it very rundown and industrial looking uh the vampires world i think i'm gonna go for a victorian gothic look and glimmerbrook which is the spellcaster world i still don't know what i'm gonna do with that i think i think glimmerbrook looks very small town look i don't know so i think i might just build a bunch of like cabins or something like that uh not cabins but like smaller wooden homes you know what I mean I don't know there's 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 a lot I have to do oh my god and I don't even want to think about Windenburg because I'm not used to building in that style uh so you know Windenburg is going to be interesting but I think one good thing about this is that it's going to force me out of my bubble a little bit because I feel like a lot of my builds are pretty much samey I build mostly suburban homes so, you know, having to build for the vampire's world is going to force me to build Victorian homes. And who knows, maybe I'm really good at Victorian homes. I don't know. I've never tried. So, you know, this is going to force me out of my bubble a little bit. And that's exciting. And now that I think about it, I did build a Victorian home a while ago. But it's really not a Victorian home. It mostly looks suburban. So I kind of failed on that house but you know what I mean it's gonna force me out of my bubble I'm gonna have to build things that I've never built before so I'm very excited to continue remodeling these neighborhoods anyways here we are at the screenshots and I honestly hope you guys love this house as much as I do now I'm not gonna lie I think the weakest point of this build are the bedrooms themselves I'm not really good with bedrooms at all so I think the weakest part of this house is definitely the bedrooms and the strongest is the exterior and the backyard and everything. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.